Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be filming a video where I wear Kmart clothes for an entire week. I'm honestly really excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for months and months and months, but I'm finally getting it done. I know I have a lot of US viewers, so I do want to say that our Kmart is not the same as America's Kmart. Kmart in Australia is known for being pretty affordable and very trendy as well. They honestly have stepped up their game in the past few years. I feel like it kind of started with their home decor stuff and then they've kind of moved it throughout the entire store. And honestly, they're, th they're thriving. They're doing great. Honestly, I don't think this will be much of a challenge, but it is more of an experiment. I have shopped at Kmart since I can remember. Honestly, until I was old enough to have my own job and start buying my own clothes, I think 90% of my wardrobe was either op shop stuff, hand-me-downs from family and friends, or Kmart slash Target stuff. I didn't grow up in a family with a whole heap of money, and so Kmart was our go-to, and honestly, I still wear it now. I don't think there's a problem with wearing Kmart. I know that they aren't the most ethical company. I think they have made adjustments and advances in that area, but they still probably have a long way to go. Just being realistic, some people cannot afford to be ethical all the time. I know that I do hauls with other companies it can be a little bit more expensive so I wanted to do a video that had more affordable pieces but I'm still going to try and make it as trendy as I possibly can because personally I don't think you have to pay a lot of money to look good. If you pick the right pieces, wear them the right way, you can make anything look good. So there are a few things I'm going to be testing in this little experiment of a video. Firstly I want to see if anyone notices that I'm only wearing Kmart for a week. My best friend Georgia who I live with already knows that I'm doing this video so she'll obviously know but the other people who I come into contact during the week probably won't know, I don't think. And so I'm really interested to see if they compliment what I'm wearing or if they know it's from Kmart or if they think it looks more expensive than it is. I'm just interested to see what other people think. And with each item, I'm also going to be looking at the affordability of the item, how trendy the item is, how comfortable the item is, and just how it fits. So those are like the four things that I'll be going through this week as I try on the items and wear them and just see how they go. I will say that I'm only focusing on clothing in this video. I'm not going to be focusing on accessories and shoes. I'm just going to do my own stuff for that. But I think it'll still be really fun. So let's go shopping. <laughs> I really like this, but it's in the Alexia section, which is kind of just for bigger sizes. But I wish they had it in a smaller size because it's so cute. I do not like the color or the fit. It fits so weird. No. I don't love it. I like it, but I don't love it. So I'm home and as you can see, I have a big pile of stuff next to me. I got a lot of stuff. I think overall I spent about $150, but I'm planning on returning the things that I either don't like or don't wear. But honestly, $150 for this much stuff. I got like three pairs of jeans, a dress, a skirt, so many tops. Like I got heaps of stuff. So I'm very happy. I'm really excited. I honestly haven't tried like any of this stuff on. <laughs> so you guys will see on the days that I actually wear it, how it fits and things like that. And I'll tell you if I like it or not once I actually tried on but for now I'll show you the items and give you the prices as well so the first item is this top I feel like this one could be a hit or a miss this one was ten dollars I got this in a size 10 just because I kind of want it to be a bit of an oversized fit I think it'll look cute once it's tucked in it's super soft feels really nice quality honestly the second top I got is this t-shirt now this one is from the men's section and it's also from the clearance section I did get a few clearance items so hopefully this video will go up in time for you guys to get these pieces if you want to get them but in saying that I actually went to three different Kmarts while I was shopping for this video because I just wanted to get a broad perspective of all the different Kmarts and every single one that I went to had different stock. They all kind of had the same main things, the same basic things, but this top I only found in one store. Another top that I got on clearance, I went to another store and the same top wasn't on clearance. So I don't really know how their system works because it seems like every Kmart is a little bit different. But yeah, this one is from the men's section, from the clearance section. So this is an extra large because it's the only size I had, but I think it could look really cute if I cuff the sleeves 
and either crop it or tuck it in. But this was on sale for four dollars, so I was like, yes, thank you. That is incredible. I showed this to my friend Izzy, and she's like, oh, I thought that was from Cotton On. So I feel like it's one of those tops that you wouldn't be able to tell it's from Kmart if you don't want people to know you're wearing Kmart. But honestly, I don't really care. This top I saw and I thought it was so cute. This is actually from the pajama section. So as you can tell, I kind of searched the whole store. I went to the activewear section, the women's, the men's, the kids even. Because fun fact, if you're a size like six, eight, maybe even a 10, you can fit into some kids stuff because they go up to a size 16. But yeah, this is from the pajama section. It was $8 and it is the softest top I have ever felt. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's so wonderfully soft. It's like a navy and cream stripe. And this one is in a size six to eight. I didn't realize how many striped items I got, but I got another one. This is, I don't know if you'd call it like a sweater or a jumper or just a top. It's like more of a knitted kind of material, but it's very, very thin. So I'd probably still wear it as a top, but if it was colder, I would just wear like an undershirt or a singlet underneath it. I was really drawn to this one because of the colors. It's just like a white and orange stripe. I think the top of this looks so cute. I think the bottom is really ugly. I don't like that, or at least I don't think it would look good on me. So either I will crop this or just tuck it in and hide the bottom part. because. Also, it's super long and I have a really, really short torso, so that would not look cute on me. So I actually picked up three pairs of jeans. This is the first one that I picked up. These are called the Skinny High Rise Soft Touch Jeans. I got them in a size eight, didn't try them on. They're in the color mid blue and these were $20. I wanted to try out their jeans because they're so inexpensive. I will say that one flaw about this video is I can't really give you a longevity test. Like, I don't know what these jeans will be like after wearing them 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, but I'll tell you how they fit and I'll tell you how they fit after a day of wearing them and honestly for $20 I don't know if they'll last for a super long time but if you're on a budget you don't have a lot of money to spend they might work out really well this is another top from the men's section I actually really enjoy going to the men's section buying their plain t-shirts and then just cropping them I think this one was either four or five ish dollars it doesn't have a price on it so I can't really tell you I got this one in a small and again I'll either tuck it in or I'll crop it, depending on what I feel like. Another plain t-shirt I got is this one. This is from the ladies section. I'm not sure how this one will fit yet. I guess we will see. I got this one in size 10, but it was $2.75. And that kind of blew my mind. And in my opinion, you can never have enough like black or white plain t-shirts. I wear them with everything. Hopefully it looks good on. Here is another pair of jeans that I got. I actually really needed a new pair of white jeans because my ones are getting super stretched out and gross. And they also have a rip in the knee and you don't always want a rip in the knee. I feel like white jeans just dress everything up and make them look a lot fancier than they actually are. These ones don't have a price on them, but I feel like they were $20. These are called the Skinny High Rise Lift and Shape Jeans. Again, I got them in a size 8. These also have the tag on them that say BCI, so bettercotton.org, which is just kind of saying that they're becoming a little bit more ethical, which is really great. I'm glad that they're stepping that direction. I'm sure they have a long way to go, but I'm glad that they're making improvements and understanding that sustainability is an important factor. So I really hope these fit because I genuinely just need a new pair of white jeans and they look honestly really good. This top is so cute. I don't know if you can tell the lighting is kind of washing it out a little bit but it has this like Rachel Catherine frill at the bottom and this one I found on clearance. This one I got for $2. I'm pretty sure it's only like around $10 full price anyway or $9 it says but they only had larger sizes so this one is a size 12. Actually It'll go really well with the next item that I'm about to show you. This cardigan I also got on clearance for $5 and this was originally $25. So that is a crazy deal. As you can see, it's kind of like that fluffy knit material. It's a beautiful pink color. This definitely isn't my size. It's a size 18 to 20, so it is quite large for me, but it's just gonna look like an oversized cardigan. So I'm not really worried about it. These are the last pair of jeans that I have to show you. These jeans are a bit of a lighter wash and I think these ones were a bit less expensive as well. They don't have a price on them, but I'm pretty sure they were $15. These are the skinny mid-rise everyday stretch. I didn't realize they were mid-rise. I hope they still, they look pretty high rise. We'll see how we go. They're a lot more stretchy than the other ones, which I'm assuming is why they're a bit less expensive because they're probably not as good a quality, but we'll see how we go. This is actually one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. I've already worn this one because I got too excited about it. It's kind of a crew neck, but it's really, really thin. It's definitely not fluffy 
fluffy on the inside. If you can see, it's kind of like that towel kind of material, I usually say, but I don't really know how else you describe it. I did find this one on clearance for $9, and also I only found it at one of the three Kmarts that I went to. I also picked up this bodysuit. I am a bit iffy about how this is going to fit. I don't think it'll be that great. It doesn't feel like incredible quality, and I don't know if it'll kind of hug my figure very well. I got this in a size 6. I would say I'm normally a size 8, but some things from Kmart just look a little bit larger. This was $7 though, so super, super, super cheap. And again, it has like the little BCI tag with the better cotton.org kind of situation. This is the only skirt that I picked up. This is a denim skirt. I think it was $15. It's called the Denim Align Skirt in the light wash. It also came in black, I'm pretty sure, and I got mine in a size 8. I will say, again, I'm pretty skeptical about how this one will fit. It doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of shape to it, as you can see. It could look really cute. I'm not sure. I really like the color of it though. But it was just so difficult to try and find any skirts or dresses in my opinion. They had so many tops, so many jeans or pant options, but like hardly any dresses, hardly any skirts. Again, depends which came out you went to. Some had more of a selection than others. The last thing I have to show you is this dress. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a bodycon dress, but it literally just goes straight down. So I do not have high hopes for this one. I don't think it's going to look cute. I got this in a size six. It was $9. So super super affordable which is great but I feel like it's gonna look really ugly. I might try and belt it. I might try and add a jacket or something. I do have a Kmart denim jacket that I already have. It was the only dress that I somewhat liked and I thought that I couldn't just wear jeans and a shirt all week. So I'll see how I like that one. But that is everything I picked up so let's get into how I style them throughout the week. Okay, so it is day one, it is Monday, and I just actually finished filming the haul that you guys just saw. And now I need to pick my outfit for the first day of this video challenge week. I honestly have a lot of options. Today I'm literally just at home filming and editing all day, which is really nice. So I think I'm going to try out one of the pairs of jeans because I just want to know if they're going to fit. Because I feel like if one of them fits, then they all will probably fit fairly well because they're all fairly similar. But if one of them doesn't, that'll be an issue. So I'll try these ones and probably just a t-shirt that one's super comfy maybe i'll try this one the pajama one let's try these ones so this is what the outfit looks like i just wanted to show you what the shirt looks like not tucked in or tied up or anything but i probably will wear it tucked in or tied up i don't <sighs> love the fit of it but I don't hate it it's so soft though and so comfortable which kind of makes up for it the jeans fit so well I would say I'm a pretty true size 8 I would say I don't feel like I need to wear a belt or anything they are quite stretchy though so I feel like they do have a bit of leeway with sizing this is the length of them without any like folding or anything so if you're a taller girl it might not work because I'm fairly short I'm like 5'2 and they come just above my ankles so it depends what sort of length you want I'll probably cuff them a little bit because I like mine a little bit shorter than this but yeah fit is really good not obsessed with the color they kind of do look a little bit cheaper so overall i'm not like obsessed crazy in love with this outfit but i don't mind it i would definitely wear it it is super super comfortable i almost feel like i'm wearing like leggings because they are a stretchier material there you go so this is the outfit. I am obsessed with the top. I love it. It's not like super crazy warm. It's not fluffy on the inside, but it is a really good like transitional piece. So going between like winter and spring or something, but I love the colors. I love the design. Obsessed with the top. The jeans are like fine. They are definitely not as high rise as the ones I wore yesterday, but like not by much. Like my belly button's only here and they're only a little bit lower than that, but they're super stretchy. And again, they fit super, super well, like fit my waist really 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 well I feel like when I wear these you can tell they look a little bit more like leggings like jeggings I guess but not to the point where I wouldn't wear them all in all like this outfit Skay just got back from Melbourne do you like my outfit Skay? yeah it's nice where do you think it's from? also from Cotton On but where's mm. it from? Kmart oh wow I... Marina how much is your outfit from Kmart? it's cute do you like it? yeah it looks better on than I thought it would same, I, I agree. This is my outfit for Wednesday. I'm wearing the bodysuit that I think was like $6. And I actually really like it. Like it's a really good height here if you don't like low things. But the back's like really nice. I think my bra will be oh. like, it's like a good Cute. Like, where you can still wear a bra. Love that. But also, yeah, the skirt is like a lot nicer than I thought. Like fits a lot nicer than I thought. It's also like a really nice length. So far, really liking it. Belt, not from Kmart, but... It just needed a, something else, you know? I like this outfit a lot. It is a bit cold outside, so I did want to put it like 
at least somewhat of a jumper over the top. So I'm wearing this. I don't know if it's a jumper or like a long sleeved top, but like I anticipated, I hate the bottom of it. It's much too long. So I'm going to tuck it in and we'll see how I like it. I tucked it in. Looks so much better. I also just like cuffed the sleeves a little bit, but this looks so much better. I'm honestly so impressed with this skirt. I am shocked. It was like $15 and I really like it. My room is a mess because I've been doing Depop stuff all day and that's also why I'm in a new shirt. This skirt, I am honestly so impressed with it. It did, however, like stretch out during the day. Like when I put it on this morning, it fit really well. Now it's a little bit more stretched out and I would definitely have to wear a belt with it, not just for aesthetic purposes. Like I would actually need the belt. Whereas this morning it just fit like really well without the belt. This t-shirt is just a Kmart cropped men's tee by the way. I just chucked it on because I was changing outfits over and over because I'm, yeah, selling stuff on Depop and had to try a bunch of stuff on for photos. But I really do like that bodysuit as well. Like really, really like that. But I thought I would just give you this little update that I'm really happy with both of those pieces. But I'm going to get in my pajamas now. It's only like 5pm but I'm not going anywhere tonight so I'm going to get in my pajamas. Hey guys, so it's Thursday and this is what I wore today. I've been out all day and only just got home. I had work for half the day and then went and hung out with friends but totally forgot to film. But this is probably my favorite outfit I've worn so far. I'm wearing this top that I got on clearance for $2. And then these are just like the low rise jeans that I wore the other day. But I wore a belt with them and I made them 10 times better because they didn't fall down. They say they're mid-rise, but I feel like they're kind of low rise. I guess mid-rise, but I just really, really like them with this outfit. So cute. Very happy. So it has come to the end of another day. This was my outfit today. I wore the white jeans with this gray men's shirt that I tucked in and I also cuffed the sleeves. And this is a, I keep feeling like it's my favorite outfit, but I really, really love this one. I felt very put together in this. I will say that these jeans are so tight. I'm really confused because I'm pretty sure they're the same style as the dark blue ones that I've already worn and they're the same size. They are a different material and they're a different color obviously but I think the material is what makes them so tight. They are fairly high waisted which I love but I just don't know why they're so tight but I do really recommend these jeans because they're such good quality. They're really thick and I really love them and the shirt is just like you can't go wrong. It's a men's t-shirt four or five dollars. Gonna get so much wear out of this. Love it. It is now the next day and this is my outfit for today. I'm actually really happy with it. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do. This is that high neck rusty colored shirt. I feel like this would be a really work appropriate shirt as well because it's like quite a nice material. It's a little bit more fancy, just like less casual, but like could definitely dress it down like I have today. And it is so soft. I really like it. And I'm also wearing these earrings that are also from Kmart, which I felt like matched the outfit quite well. So that's my outfit for today and I'm really happy with it. It is now day seven, which is the final day of this challenge and I'm wearing a super simple outfit. I'm wearing the really oversized pink cardigan and I love it. I'm just wearing it with a plain white tee and then the light wash or mid-rise jeans, but look how long and comfy it is. It literally feels like a blanket. I'm obsessed. It kind of feels like I'm wearing a dressing gown, like a fluffy dressing gown, but I can wear it outside, which is amazing. But it's kind of hot in here, so I'm going to take this off and we're going to finish off this video. So honestly, I really did enjoy my outfits this week. There weren't any outfits that I wore that I felt bad or like ugly in. I felt pretty confident in all of them, which was really, really nice because it shows that you can be super confident in whatever you're wearing, regardless of price tag or brand or whatever else. I think there are certain pieces that I do like to invest a little bit more money in to get a little bit better quality. For example, my jeans and my denim. I do like to invest a bit more money into those pieces if I can, because I feel like cheap jeans often just stretch out over time. And Although jeans can be quite expensive, a really good pair of jeans can last you years and years and years and years and years. But in saying that, I really like the jeans that I wore this week. I just don't know how long they would last. However, something that I will probably continue to purchase from Kmart for a long, long time are basics like this t-shirt here or any of the t-shirts that I showed you or that I wear. A lot of them are from Kmart if they're just plain. I really like their men's shirts. They're really good sleep shirts as well. They have great pajamas in general. A lot of my pajamas are from Kmart. I feel like I wish they had a better selection 
selection of more like formal wear I guess just things like dresses and skirts I found really difficult to find there I feel like it also does depend on the season since we're just coming out of a winter season here in Australia a lot of the pieces that I got were bought from the winter collection I guess you could say whereas I know they're starting to bring out like a summer collection now which is full of a lot more summery dresses and cute skirts and swimmers and things like that but I did find some pieces that I really really loved and I wouldn't have found if I didn't do this video like that little white crew neck with all the straps on it I think that's so cute I really loved that and I also really love that white shirt that has the frill at the bottom that is one of my favorites as well but I really had so much fun doing this video if you want me to do another video similar to this but with another brand or another clothing store or something like that please let me know your recommendations down below and I might do it but if you do want to see another video similar to this right now go check out my best friend Giorgio's channel I'll link her channel and her video down below because the same time I'm uploading this video the same video as this but came out workout clothes instead so if you guys want to see her try and test and review Kmart activewear head over to her channel like I said the link will be down below because we all know that activewear can be a little bit pricey and Kmart has some really good pieces so if you want to know what the good pieces are and which ones to stay clear of definitely check out her video but I think that's everything I had to tell you guys if you haven't subscribed definitely do that because I upload twice a week I do a lot of vlogs on my channel if you like those and some random ones like this too if you've made it to this point in the video thank you so much I hope you enjoyed it and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one in a few days. Goodbye.